here's a striking statement. The grocery store currently knows more about you as a consumer than we know about most students in our classrooms in the United States. They make a conscious effort to track your behavior, to understand how they can modify your behavior based upon both group statistics, everybody in the store does this, and you as a buyer, why do they, why do they want you to use your loyalty card? So they can help you get discounts? No, so they can collect the data. And when they collect the data, they can modify the experience for you as an individual. We are not collecting the right types of data in schools in order to make these types of adjustments in learning plans to maximize learning. People learn different ways at different speeds. So as you're learning, we need to get more information about how you're learning. How many of you see kids working on, on worksheets, doing their math problems on worksheets? I, every school I go into, they say, we're different, we're different, we're different, and all of a sudden they look and they've got worksheets. Everybody's got a worksheet. And they're doing a little math sheet on worksheets. If you do those worksheets on a, on a tablet or a computer, every attempt is a piece of data. Every piece of data can be accumulated into a pattern that starts to figure out not only how many did you get right and how many did you get wrong, but why did you get certain items right and certain items wrong. So now we're starting to see an explosion of data. And it's the same thing we're seeing in individualized medicine, by the way, in individualized health. It's about getting enough digital information at a granular enough level to help practitioners adjust your learning strategies as an individual. So all of this personalization is about what we know about the science of learning, using that data to create very, very personalized experiences.